When it comes to high-tech products like stealth fighters, the countries that can afford to play with them are either technological powerhouses or wealthy tycoons. It's hard to imagine that a country with the strength of Egypt has also equipped itself with such equipment, even if it was only purchased from the United States. However, this is enough to make people feel surprised. So, what's the deal with this? This matter was revealed on the internet about three years ago when a company called Scaled Composites released a set of pictures. The content of the pictures was the stealth fighter beetle developed for Egypt by the company in the 1980s. First, let's talk about the stealth fighter beetle itself. It is a powered, gearless unmanned drone, similar to some remote-controlled target drones. Its structure, including the fuselage and wings, is made of fiberglass, PVC foam core, and Kevlar fibers. The reason why carbon fiber and similar materials were not used is that the export of such materials was prohibited by the US at the time. However, this didn't matter because they were all able to effectively reduce the radar cross-section and the aircraft structure was strong enough, and there were no problems with these components. The stealth fighter Beetle uses a rocket engine, which seems to be modified from a missile engine. The tail nozzle is located under the tail of the aircraft. According to some descriptions, this engine seems to have a thrust of about 18,000 pounds, allowing the aircraft to reach a flight speed of about 1,000 kilometers, a ceiling of about 12,000 meters, and a maximum range of about 2,250 kilometers. So, what is the function of this stealth fighter? It is actually a reconnaissance aircraft that can carry either the KS-153A optical camera or the Laurel D-500 infrared laser camera system. Both of these devices require the use of film, which can only be developed and viewed after recovery. Like some American unmanned reconnaissance aircraft of the last century, the stealth fighter Beetle cannot fly remotely. It needs to pre-edit the flight path before the mission. When the aircraft returns, it cannot land autonomously. Instead, it shuts down the engine in the designated area, then opens the parachute to descend. There is a set of airbags inside the fuselage and wings that are inflated to cushion the landing. The user only needs to find the aircraft and retrieve the film, and after simple repairs, it can be reused. The Stealth Fighter Beetle has a launch system, which is a set of launch tracks and command control systems mounted on wheeled vehicles. This equipment allows for quick highway mobility and has a certain off-road capability, allowing for rapid deployment in many locations. During prototype testing, the Stealth Fighter Beetle also attempted to be deployed by fighter aircraft. There are a total of 59 Stealth Fighter Beetles, but it is said that they only carried out 65 missions. During the Desert Storm operation, the Egyptian military received a request from the U.S. military to use the stealth fighter Beetles to expand the reconnaissance range of the coalition forces. The specifics are not known, but given the overall advantage of the coalition forces at the time, this behavior seemed more like a deliberate attempt to involve Egypt in the conflict. Some articles online believe that the reason why it appeared in Egypt is related to some agreements signed by Egypt in the 1970s. After that, Egypt became less assertive in Middle Eastern affairs, and the stealth fighter beetle was one of the compensatory benefits. However, the demand for this type of equipment in the environment where Egypt is located is not very high. Even though it was indeed developed in response to Egyptian needs by the US, with the development of satellite technology, this reconnaissance technology was actually obsolete there. Its stealth performance is the biggest highlight, but for a small unmanned drone, it's not really that impressive. Real high-tech, like radar-absorbing coatings, wasn't even used. And in actual use, to secretly deploy the stealth fighter beetle just to take a few pictures, it's not really a big deal in the eyes of reconnaissance satellites. At the same time, those professional reconnaissance aircraft of that period were not limited to taking a few pictures, but also had functions such as electronic reconnaissance and terrain mapping. However, people are still worried because the stealth fighter beetle itself is like a cruise missile. Just equip it with a warhead, set the appropriate flight path, and it can launch an attack on a target thousands of miles away. 
Of course, the accuracy may not be great, but it is still a potential threat. Who knows what Egypt has done with the stealth fighter beetles over the years. It's possible that they have disassembled them to gain a full understanding of the technology.